Uh oh. <laughs> It's been a while, and um, we're back um, after obviously a very sad time for people that like to hang out at this at this channel. And I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of messages, a lot of texts, a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, a lot of comments, um, uh, a lot of interesting things that people were thinking about. You know where everything is right now. Um, so. I think we're going to just continue on is the thing to do, right? I mean, that's what we would always do is continue on. So uh, not going to really belabor the point, um, but suffice it to say that he'll be greatly missed. So in continuation and to continue on with the legacy, um, we are decided to do the demo of this LWAN pedal board. Um, it still needs some tweaking, I think, to get the, you know, to dial everything in just perfectly. But I just wanted to put something up and, you know, respectfully wait a little while. I wasn't really into playing very much lately um, or doing any work on this kind of stuff. I just needed some time to sort of think about what to do and where to go and all kinds of things like that. So um, it's sort of rough and ready right now. We haven't really even nailed down the wires yet, but I sort of wanted to go through sort of... Um, maybe the different elements of what we've got on the board, right, that we were talking about before. We have our little uh, Moto Teddy um, tour model, which is sort of like um, a little bit of a theory of mine of what his amplifiers might have been like around the time of 1986 on the uh, 5150 tour, somewhere around there. Um, we've got that power supply on there that we had talked about and how to build. We've got a little hush on there quiet everything down we've got our her favorite art mini mix we have a a boss overdrive we've got a bunch of eventide stuff right we've got this eventide delay here which we're using for cathedral we have another delay which we're using for like a spacious kind of um you know reverb or rather a 
reverb simulation, but slapback delay, we'll go through that. We've got the Eventide harmonizer and we've got our little loot box here. All of that was in the previous videos. Um, and all of it is being run by this IR pedal, right? That we've got underneath there, there's two notes, not two notes, excuse me, hot one, Omni IR. All right, so let's go through the whole thing and see what, we, what we've got. Um, let's go with the bass sound that we have with, this is just basically the Moto Teddy. And a lot of people are asking me, what's the deal with Moto Teddy or with Teddy? And Teddy means a lot of things, but one of the things it means is uh, Ted Templeman and Eddie Van Halen. The combination of the two created the Teddy. <laughs> so that's why I always have the Teddy around. There's a few other reasons too, but we won't go into those. All right, so we've got the Moto Teddy on the floor right there, which is the tour model. <laughs> Um, maybe a little too much reverb on that right now. Let's let's just turn off the reverb, right? Uh, all right, so it's basically like a hot rotted Marshall, and when we put the overdrive on with the uh, the Boss overdrive on. <laughs> I think that adds a lot, right? I, I, I was searching around for overdrives. I'm like, I think Eddie probably used them, you know? I mean, I can't imagine that this guy, who's like, you know, the the only guitar player on the planet, not to put like a boss overdrive in front of a Marshall. I can't imagine that that never happened. So maybe it did happen and it's happening here. All right, so we got that going on. Um, so we have the overdrive into the Moto Teddy, into the IR pedal. <laughs> Right. Um, then we would add, let's say, like a delay. Right. And we got this Eventide time factor and we have it set at like 220 and 420 milliseconds uh, left and right. Um, and it's all the effects are in parallel. Right. They're in parallel. So you have a straight down the middle dry signal that never goes away. And when you add in the delay into the loop. Right? It kind of gives you that slap around a little bit. I really like that sort of like delay. Um, some of these settings obviously are, need to be tweaked a little bit, but we're going through it anyway. Um, the dual delays, ping ponging back and forth, I think that's something that he definitely used. The next thing is we've got this Eventide pitch factor on the board right here, also in parallel. And we have it set for. Uh, up and down, right? So we've got one pitch like seven cents, I think, down and one like seven cents up. Uh, 14 cents total. So you could get yourself nothing with 14 cents. So let's put in the harmonizer and see what that sounds like. So you can hear how you get like that chorus and kind of sound. Uh, I think the Eventide is obviously the key thing to getting like the uh, the whole LN 5150 tour sound right, right? The up and down pitch. He used the two Eventides like that one in the rack over here that you can't see, which is, you know, the old time harmonizer, the model. Uh, I always mix it up. The 949, the 949 right there. All right. So we have the Eventide going on all the time and the delay with the ping pong going on all the time. All right. So what else have we got in here? We have also have this second delay, right, which is actually taking the place of what would be in the big rack, a Lexicon PCM70 to give ourselves like a 400, 420. I, I think this is set for 420. I wonder why he used 420. Uh, 420 millisecond uh, strong slap, right, where the repeat is actually a little stronger than the original signal. And that I use for the, sort of the cathedral thing, right? So if we turn that on... <laughs> Right? And then combined with the other delay and the reverb, which we'll put on real quick, you get sort of that sound, you know?
Oops, my pot's scratchy. I don't know what that's about. I gotta replace the pot in this thing. Sometimes it's scratchy and sometimes it isn't, right? What is it doing now? As you can see, recreate that rack that he had. I mean, he, all, he had, you know, the, the Rocktron Exciter Imager Hush there too, and a Rocktron compressor in there. We don't have the compressor in in the in this particular setup, but we might be adding one. Um, I did put that, what I called the Cathedral Loop in here, which is actually a compressor and another noise gate um, in line with everything that really kind of tries to bring up the faintest really up loud so I'll turn that on I'm not sure whether I like it though I think this might have been a failed experiment but we'll let you try and uh, decide for yourself what you think so I'm gonna turn it on okay so that loop is engaged right now and what that do is what's that doing right now is it's having massive compression which is totally gated by this MXR gate so you can't hear all the and all that crap and the MXR gate is pretty fast so it's able to cut on really quick I was trying to find a way to get that really staccato sound that he has. And I know he boosts the gain way up for Cathedral. He's got it. But the slightest touch on his on his uh, volume seems to go to full bore, you know. So let's see the differences, right? I'll turn it on and off. First we'll do. And then in. Right? Well, I got to turn on the delay too, right? So we'll turn on the delay. the uh, volume pot scratchier <laughs> as it turns out all right so um <laughs>
right? It's got, so it's got that kind of a thing going on, I think. Um, not too difficult to build, <laughs> maybe a little expensive. Uh, we might have to sell all this stuff pretty soon to get back to building something else. But it sounds really cool. I'm actually really happy with this. And when I've got it going through like studio monitors, which is sort of, you know, the way that I envision this whole sort of system working, you really do get something that's a lot of fun to play. Um, and if you take out some of the reverb um, and stuff and maybe, um, you know, if you limit down the harmonizers a little bit. Maybe put that on. Let's try with just the delays. Eh. could get some of that like 1984 although the 1984's tone i think was only one harmonizer with like one cent down or something like that but anyway um that's sort of the pedal board right that we've been building on and i'm gonna try tweaking it in more and more because this thing if i can afford to keep it i'm keeping it and i'm gonna try to tweak it in and get it sounding you know a, a lot closer to what <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think that's good for the demonstration of the thing. Sorry for the clammy hands, haven't been playing much. Not that that ever makes a difference. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed um, the project. And if you have any questions about how it kind of like went together or how it goes together or how it's not going together, you could just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check out our solderless cables too at Three Monkeys. Um, that's sort of what keeps the whole thing afloat anyway, on top of, you know, just having fun. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.